All right, so this is going to be a pretty short video. It's going to be about the A gear, which came with the brand new Zest Achilles in the customized set. And I'm going to put it on Divine Belio. And I'm going to talk a bit about how I think that the future of Divine Belial's gears are going to go. So last time we got this D gear from Gatling Dragon, and it's proved to be a pretty good part. Now, I'm just wondering if the A gear will be the same. So if you look on here, you can see some star marks on this side, but not on this side. That's because on the bottom of the Divine Blade, there is a star mark on this side. So there are two modes to the A gear, an attack mode and a defense mode. Uh, if you put the star marks on top of the star marks on Divine, and then you assemble it, you get the three-bladed mode, where the A gear lines up with the blade on Divine, as well as these gold parts. However, if you take the A gear and then flip it around so the star mark is away from the other star mark, and then reassemble it. You get a sort of six-bladed defense mode where these parts used to be under this blade, but now they're more on the outside. Now, I'm just gonna keep it in the three-blade mode for now, because Belial is more of an attack type, and this seems like it'll help more with that. And... This will probably save Divine Belial, because I've heard some people say that they're not a huge fan of the gap, but here's my thinking, is that the gap helps uh, Divine catch other bays in this gap, which allows it to hit it harder. But I would have liked if this gear had metal on it, but this is completely fine. Now, a bit about what I think will happen in the future with Divine Belial Gears. Uh, in October, we'll be getting a set with Hel Helios and Hyperion, which is a new gear. And after that, I'm thinking, where would they put that? Because on the driver, we only have the V gear. And it's not like you can really replace that because it only has one function to push it down. And there's not really anything else that can replace that. So I'm thinking, what if instead the gear from there has something to do with these two holes on Divine, which is why I'm thinking what Takari Tomi's aiming for is a full protagonist bay. Because so far, we have got parts on Belial of three other protagonists. We have Belial itself, we have Achilles, we have Dragon, and then there's a part from Valkyrie. Now, the only part missing is from Hyperios, Hyperion and Helios, and they'll probably have an H gear. And what I'm assuming is it's probably a two-part gear. One that has to fill in those holes in the gaps, or maybe like act as a substitute armor, and the second part will fill in these gaps. And what I'm thinking will be the gimmick for these, for this gear, will either be metal contact points, since Helios and Hyperion had uh, the metal chips and the metal driver attachments. Uh, it could also be like a spring blade gimmick, but I doubt they could actually fit it in there. Or just like more plastic, which I doubt they would do again, since there's already the A gear and the D gear for that. And that was just me sharing my thoughts on what's going to happen in the future. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about, so bye.